You don't talk to me that way. One viewer asked me, when does doing what's right feel wrong? And thank you for that question, Kathy. You have to tell someone older than you, listen, you don't talk to me that way. If you're going to continue to speak to me with those words and with that tone of voice, we're just not going to talk. That hurts. It feels wrong because you know that you're hurting that person. You're being respectful. You're being loving. You're being kind to them and to yourself, but it still hurts. That is another example of when you do something that's right, that feels wrong, and that's when you grow spiritually. And consequently, you help that person and yourself. And if you don't do it, you hurt them and yourself. Setting boundaries and doing what's right is not only right for you, but it's right for them. Because most people either don't know what they're doing is wrong, or they simply have gotten away with it for so long because nobody had the guts to tell them. The reason why people don't tell other people the truth is because what's at stake for them? They have something to gain or they have something to lose. Ain't no shame in my game. I ain't got nothing to hide, nothing to prove, nothing to gain, and nothing to lose. I know God is my source. I know I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That means me and me alone with Christ inside of me. Anything I need, it's inside of me because he already gave it to me. And if it's an external need, place to live, food, water, whatever it may be, again, that person can't take it from me. That person can't keep it from me because whatever, it is, even if it's love, affection, whatever it is, any type of need, it's met by God. God is my source. It is not that other person. And so because of that reason, I know what love is. And I'm willing to risk another person being angry at me in the short term or forever never talk to me again if it means that that person gets better if it means that that person gets to live their dream or at the very least they're happier for the rest of their life they could go around blind and then they die and i never told them and they went around miserable with terrible relationships for the rest of their life sad sick lonely and broke well hey that's not a friend tell me the truth because that's what a real friend would do Faithful are the wounds of a friend. You would not be afraid. See, fear is the opposite of love because you're afraid of losing something. If you actually cared about somebody, you'd be willing to risk losing that person. You would be willing to risk that person being mad at you for a couple days or a month or forever and never seeing that person again. If you thought that that person would long term, it would help them have a better life. That's what love is. By not setting boundaries and by not saying no and by doing everything that feels okay in the moment, it hurts us all long term. The longer we wait to tell the truth, the longer we wait to set boundaries, the more it hurts all of us. I want to look at the future and that's what you want to do. If I don't do this thing that feels wrong, how will I be hurting them? How will I be hurting that person and myself if I don't do the thing that feels wrong but is actually right long term for everybody? And it's wrong if I don't do it. This is Liberty V Justice. No period in my V because my victory is never ending. Yours don't have to either, my friends. You're worth it. Subscribe. Here she comes to save the day. You're worth it. $20, no bake, no sugar, gluten-free ebook. You get it right now. 10% goes to Operation Underground Railroad, helping kids escape sex trafficking.